Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I'm going to do a review on this little gem, Pokemon related and I've got the Pre-Marina Evolution Pack. I've been waiting so long to get this, I've had to buy it from America twice because the first one decided not to turn up, this one finally turned up. Um, so I finally got it with you guys and this is the reason why it's so late for us because they don't have it in the UK which absolutely sucks. I can't believe that they don't. Um, I just hope that they have the Leafeon and Glaceon coming out, the um, poseable ones because I really want to complete the um, the evolutions of them. But yeah, as you can see I've got this little gem. And I'm so excited for her now because I can't believe she's finally turned up. So without further ado, I'm going to open it. This is the back of the packaging. And you can get the Ash figure, which you can get here still. And you've got these three, which I've already got. And it just comes with like a belt with a Pokemon um, Pokeball to go on it, which is quite cool. And obviously it's got Poplia, Brienne, and uh, Brienne. And um, pre marina. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get this open. So, guys, I've got the checklist here, and I've already got, I finally got out today. Obviously, I got, I don't want to get Incineroar, I might get him later if he does come out here, but I don't think he is. He's too, ex they're too expensive to buy offline. Um, I've got Decidueye, I've got these two. I've done a review on this one, which is the video below this one. So please check out that one. I've done a video on Raichu as well. And I just really want the Perseval, Glaceon and Leafeon to finish off my evolutions of the Eevee family. And other than that, guys, the really much more I want off the checklist. So I'm going to get back to the review. I'll take a picture of this at the end so you can have a little look yourself. And I've also got the legendaries as well. But I kind of like the the um, checklist because that will make a nice little poster. But yeah, I'm going to get back to the um, review. So guys, I've got Poplier here. The standard figure what comes with him. Um, comes with the, you can actually buy him on his own. But that's Poplier's, the standard figure. Mind my plaster, it look, I, put, I got my finger the other day. <laughs> um. So yeah, there's Poplier. Paintwork's really nice. Just a nice standard figure. It's got cute face, cute nose. I love the um light blue with the dark blue, and he's just a nice cute figure to add to your collection. Um, I'd like it actually if they actually just articulated his head, because you can only have him in one pose, and that's like that. And, but if you put him like that, you look, you can have him where he looks away, but I like to see his cute little face. So that's popular out the um, packaging, the nice standard video, um, figure, and I love the paintwork. It's nice and clean, so no complaints. So that's popular. So popular's second evolution is Brion. She looks really nice. She's a nice sky blue. She's got a really cute, adorable face and the likeness is um, done really well. She's got these really cute pupils, pink pupils. Um, she's a nice sky blue colour and this like skirt thing what she's got going on. These like ruffles is like really nice and clean. She's got white, light blue, like a duck egg blue and um, white again. Ending it off with on the tail with a little bit of white at the tips, and she's got tips on um on like a feet, shall we say? And then she's got this like cloudy white bit around there with, to finish it off with a nice little pink nose. She looks so cute. I love the skull. I like these um like the like. Well, they're like pearls, I think, and they're like they look like bubblers, like under, like she's under the water. 
she just looks like a really nice striking um little figure to add to co um, the collection and i like the fact that they give her a bit of articulation there's not loads but like i said i don't think you need loads of um articulation sorry with these figures i just think that on the own the fans so the articulation is so guys down to the articulation she's got um a head on a swell so she can just move her head all the way around it's not on a ball joint so you can't move her up and down which is a problem but you can move her like she can look up like that she can look that way or she can just be head on but you can go all the way around so i think that's fine her feet can move all the way around like that and the same with this one so that's really good they don't um open outwards which don't really fuss me that much and then she's got one more little bit of articulation and that's a swell around the tail so that can move i think it's nice that they've added that because you can actually stand her like that or she can lay down on the belly bit like that so that's really good so yeah that's all it is to to bring on for this figure she's a really nice figure Real clean work, sculpt is really nice, and she's got a really nice pink nose, and she's just a really cute figure to add to your collection, so that's Brion guys. Now, down to the main event, and that is Primarina, so you'll be able to evolve Brion into Primarina. So guys, I've got Primarina here, and she just looks absolutely such a stunning figure, and... I've heard, well, I've not heard, I know that the price range for these, if there was to come out here, would be roughly around £20. Because I know they're like $20 in America. If some of the, um, if I'm wrong, please correct me on that in the comment section. But if that's the case, just for the, um, these three figures, that is such a good price range. Um, and you can get your hands on her, um, get your hands on her from eBay, pay that extra bit. I think all through these I paid £40 which is pricey I have to admit but if you really love Pokemon as much as me and you're from the UK you'll go out your way to collect a book let's get down to Prima Arena. she looks absolutely stunning such a lovely stunning figure her paint works really nice and clean this this hair piece is all plastic and it's articulated and it's like a really nice bl um, sky blue she's got these nice detailed pearls around her hair just looks really nice this like thin bit what goes around here is in like an ad plastic and that's in like a lilac -y, um, really really light pale purple she's got these really nice star details around here which stand out against the white really well and then she's got these this headpiece bit here with pearls there. These lovely striking paint work um, blue eyes with a little bit of hint of pink in there. I'll take a picture of these at the end and I'll do some size comparison. And then she's just got some little bit of eyelash detail in there. I know it's not picking it up on the camera but I will take a picture like I said. And she's got this lovely pink nose which complements the white and the, the blues really really well. She's got quite a lot of articulation as well and I love the um, headpiece matches with the light like, top bit here in this light, really light light purple and the same goes with this skirt bit here and then she's got this lovely blue tail which some bits of it is don't match because like this bit's in hard plastic but this bit's in like a rubberish plastic but it's They've matched it up quite well, but it could have been a little bit better, and that's the only fault I've got. And she's got a bit of a balancing problem, but other than that, she's really, really such a beautiful figure. I love her. I, can't, I was so excited to get her, and I finally got her, and I'm really happy with her. The paint works really, really clean. She's got these spikes going around in the, like a light pink. So that matches really well with the stars around her head. The sculpt on this is so nice. The sculpt on the stars are really nice. And there isn't one thing I can really complain other than she can, with a standing 
Abilities is a little bit she flops a bit to the side um but other than that i can't really complain and that these bits here don't match that much but you can't really 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 tell I, it's just me being a bit picky but other than that i'm going to get down to the articulation overall the sculpt and the paint works really nice i love that this is in a hard plastic the hair the sculpt of the hair looks really really neat and they've got the lightness down to a T with her. So, yeah, guys, I'm really happy with her. And I'm going to get down to the articulation. So, guys, I'm going to get down to the articulation. So, she's got a head on a ball joint. So, she can move it all the way around like that. She can, she can't really look, she can look down. But she can't really look that much up. But that's no big problem. So, and she can move all right all the way around. Her hair is articulated, so it can go all the way around at this bit, right at the end. So that's good. So you can do some really nice different poses with her hair. Um, you can move it all the way around at here, but you can't move it here. But I think that's really good that you can do that. So you can do some different, you can make it in a different style. So that's really nice. Um, she's got articulation at the arms so she can move her arms like up like that well a thinned arms like that she's even got a bend in it there and she can also bend it up like that she can bend it outwards like that and she can go all the way around and that's the same with this arm so you can put her in some really cool poses if you can balance her right so now and then she's got uh she's got a little bit of right she hasn't got articulation there don't try and bend her like that because she could snap but she has got some just before the tail so that goes all the way around like that but don't do it there there's a groove there like you can see don't do that because you might snap her um which won't be good um She's got articulation at the tail here, so that's really nice. And she's got articulation at the end of of her tail here, but she's got none right at this swivel bit here. So here, here, and here, and that they can go all the way around. So that's it for the um, articulation, which I think is quite a lot for a figure to not have, like, arms and legs. So I think they've done a really good job there. She can stand really well, like that. And you can still put her in some possibilities like that with her hair. So she can look up that way, or she can look down. Or you can even have it with the tail up like this and if you balance her right yet she should be able to stay like that which is really good so you can balance her if you persevere with her she's not that bad um she's got a little bit of mark in there oh no i thought she had some mark in there so you can pose her really really well so just persevere with the balancing bits because this bit seems a bit loose and this one doesn't and a red because they're rare because of her hair, I think she just goes a little bit wobsided. But other than that, she looks really nice. She's a really, really amazing figure in my opinion. She is a bit pricey, but you can, can get her hands on it, pick her up, and hope for the gods that she's got nice clean paint wet, which man's got. And now I'm going to get some down to size comparisons. So articulation, thumbs up. Paint work, thumbs up. Sculpt, thumbs up. So no complaints, complaints there, guys. So, so guys, before I come to the end of my um, review, is a size comparison, and I've got Mega Charizard here, and um, the Rowlett family here, obviously Pre Marina here, and I got um, Marowak here, which I've done a re um, review on him, and he's my video. 
what's going to be below this one for Pre Marina. Overall, size comparisons brilliant. Um, the sculpt's brilliant. Paintwork's really clean and nice, and I've got no complaints at all, other than a little bit of matching diff um, detail there. But other than that, I can balance there, and I was struggling to, but we could persevere with them, you know, with how to work with the figure really well. And overall, Tommy's done a really good job with scale size in these figures and and yeah so try and get your hands on them the worth it i think i know they're a bit pricey um but i'm doing it for the uk people get your hands on them otherwise you might not be able to get your hands on them and overall guys i'm really happy so thumbs up to Tommy. give this videos a like and subscribe hit that alarm bell Look out for more toy related stuff, more Pokemon related stuff on my channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. And please comment down below which one's your favourite starter Pokemon. And I hope you get your hands on them. And check out the video from Alolan Marowak. And I'll see you later guys. Bye.